And now we come to the dreaded last two centers. Now usually it's not too hard to make it to where you've got two that are paired right. And I'll just turn this just to show where it's supposed to be. So this is obviously green on green. Down here we're going to want to have these two blues where they need to be. So what I'm going to do before I move things into position is try to make it to where I've got two that are um, that are where they need to be uh, at least on each center. So this is already where it needs to be here. I'm just going to anchor this down here. And the movement that you're going to do is it's just like with a super cube. You want to do a pattern to where you move this, this will move down here, which will move this to here and this up here. Um, and as long as I have whatever's facing down here won't be changed at all. So I'm going to move this down like that so that I retain that and juggle these around so that I've got, so that I've got two um, that are paired where they're supposed to be. So if this can be paired here, here, then I may want to put, I may want to make two whites or two yellows where they're supposed to be. So here's a yellow here and here's a yellow here. So if I move this it up into position here, this next algorithm is going to take this yellow, which I hope doesn't look too much like this white here, but this yellow and put it down here, which will make this move over here. And this algorithm, which I'm going to, which I'm going to post for you, is basically going to be just using these middles here for the first couple moves. It's R, so it's just the middle R. And then UI, LI, U, RI, UI, LI. And what that should have done is maintain all of these in proper position. And this wasn't really touched. And you can see that it kind of juggled these around a little bit. So what I'm actually going to want to do is I want to pair this pink and white with this yellow and pink. Um, the reason that I want to do that is because I know that yellow is here and white is here. So these two belong with each other. So I'm going to move this over here. What's going to happen with this algorithm is this is going to move into here. So this moves into here and uh, this is going to move up. But for our purposes, I just want to pair these two. So do the algorithm. So what that did is that effectively paired these two. So these two are paired, these two are paired. Once I have that, I'm just going to move this up here. And if I'm lucky, everything is already where they need to be. I see this blue is paired here. So I'm going to be exchanging those guys. So this will come up here. Move this, turn it 180 degrees, move it down. So we have an interesting situation. This is solved now, and we have one left that's not solved, which is this. I'm just going to put it into position here, rotate this down. So these purples are paired, pink is paired. So you have a situation where these guys have to be flipped. These are where they need to be, but these guys have to be flipped. This here, this here. So I'm going to turn it over here because I just really want to be moving these guys around. All right. <clears throat> so this is the final, <laughs> the final step in terms of getting all the centers and is uh, somewhat a little difficult. I kind of wish it wasn't the yellow and white because it might be a little hard to see. But basically my strategy is I'm going to be taking this and with that algorithm that will move this down over here. Then I'm going to be basically moving it back up to here, but it should be flipped a little bit. So this will come down here. Then we're going to rotate it to here and flip it back up there. Once we do that, we're going to have to um, um, fix some things that happen as these were flipping around. So for step number one, take the top one that's um, not where it should be and put it down here. And it's going to, we're going to do that with our algorithm. So there, there, there. there. There, there, there. So that successfully put it down here. 
Now what I want to do is flip it back up to here. So I'm going to rotate this and then do the algorithm again, which will put this back up to here. Don't worry about anything else yet. We're just moving single ones into position. So there, 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 there. Okay, so not too shabby. That's back into position. Now this one isn't quite where it needs to be. So you see we, we put this back into position. Um, so all of these, notice, these three are where they've got to be, and we want to move this one down now. So we're going to be putting this over here to be positioned down. We want to put it in the right place. In other words, we want to make sure that we've exchanged it um, with uh, where we want it to be. So I'm going to move this twice here so we can move it down. And I'm also going to want to move this into position, so I'm going to move this here. Effectively what this is going to do is move this up to here and this down here. And that should solve everything. This is going to move, this is going to fix itself. So if that's too many things to think about, just think in terms of this is the odd one out, move it into position to move it down here, but you got to turn it up here so that this can be where it needs to be. So let's apply our algorithm. So nothing new here, and it's solved. So we've got our middle here and our middle here. So all of our middles are solved. I just have to make sure that they're paired in the right place. So we'll rotate this around, rotate this around, and everything is right where it needs to be. So that's how you get all the middles in place. Um, if there's any questions on that, let me know. Otherwise, just kind of play around with it. The next step, are these centers here, which is the easiest and funnest part.